On today's menu, a delicious recipe so good, you'll want to make it today. Hong Kong style, Tao Ming. Lei Hong Ma, that's how's it going in Cantonese, and Gong Hei Fa Choi, that's Happy Chinese New Year in Cantonese. I'm Will Young from YoungMenCookIt.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. I've been seeing a lot of new faces on the channel here, and I'm so glad you're tuning in because I thought why not make the perfect beginner recipe, also because it's Chinese New Year. This is a delicious but simple Hong Kong style Cantonese Tao Min. Let's begin. Bring a part of water to boil for the noodles. There's actually not too many ingredients in the classic recipe, but it is extremely adaptable. Three pieces of garlic, finely chopped. small red onion, sliced. The red onions aren't exactly traditional. You can sub these out with a couple of shallots or even just white onion. But of course, like I always say, it's casual, it's all good. These here are garlic chives, and you should be able to find these at your Asian grocery store. Bit of a specialty item, you can always sub these out for green onions, but man, these add this incredible garlicky kind of aroma. Really, really nice. Chop up about 40 grams of garlic chives into sticks. Wash and drain 50 grams of bean sprouts and set it aside. Like with most stir-fry recipes, it's actually a really great idea to have everything set to go because the cooking process is actually very fast. So to make that stir-fry sauce in advance, we're gonna start off with this delicious, salty, umami kind of flavor from the soy sauce. One tablespoon soy sauce. Next up, we have this amazing dark soy sauce. This is actually more for color and it will add that iconic, beautiful caramel color to those noodles. It's not as salty as the regular all-purpose or light soy sauce, but this adds kind of a slight sweetness, a little bit of saltiness, so be very sparing with this. And you can tell that it's a really thick, kind of nice soy sauce when you swirl it around the bottle. You can tell that it kind of glazes that glass, really amazing. One teaspoon dark soy sauce. And this is a kind of staple in Asian cooking. This is a plant-based version of a oyster sauce, but sometimes this is actually called kind of a stir-fry sauce or a shiitake mushroom sauce or something like that. This one here is actually called shiitake stir-fry sauce, so a little combination of both. It has this kind of thick consistency, kind of like a hoisin sauce, but it has the shiitake kind of flavor, which adds that umami, that earthiness. This is kind of be the base of that stir fry sauce and will also help thicken it as well. One tablespoon plant-based oyster sauce. We're gonna add a little bit of cane sugar just to help sweeten that sauce and it's going to kind of melt and caramelize really nicely. You can also sub this out for your favorite sweetener. Sometimes I also use maple syrup as well. One teaspoon cane sugar. Last but not least, this is a Japanese toasted sesame oil. This is going to really lift up that sauce and add this amazing aromatic kind of aroma and experience. A little bit of this goes a long way. A splash of toasted sesame oil. Cook the noodles for half the time to package instructions. In this case, two minutes. Gently stir the noodles with chopsticks to keep them from sticking. In this episode, I'm using 140 grams of dry ramen noodles. So we're just about ready to stir fry and I do receive a lot of questions about the type of nonstick pan that I use. 
and I can definitely empathize because I remember how frustrating it was to try to stir fry things and just have things stick to the pan like no tomorrow. So the pan that you've seen me use a lot in previous episodes is this beautiful carbon steel pan. This is by a company called Ballerini, which is actually owned by the company called Swilling, which makes the knives. You do have to season this pan when you first purchase it, but the more you use it, the stronger the kind of non-stick coating becomes. One important step to note is that it really helps with that non-stick ability if you warm up the pan dry without any oil or anything in it for at least two to three minutes you may actually see a little bit of smoke coming out of the pan. So that actually is kind of an indication to tell you that the pan is ready for the oil to be added in. This way you're not actually adding cold oil into a cold pan. I do have a previous episode that I filmed where I show exactly how I season the pan straight from purchase. I'll leave that episode link in the description box below for the check that out. The only thing that this pan cannot really do is cook acidic foods, stuff like tomatoes or tomato sauce. It will actually strip off that hard earned non-stick coating. But I hope this has been very valuable information. Let's get stir frying. Strain out the noodles and set aside. Non-stick pan, medium heat. Instead of using a neutral flavor cooking oil, today we're going to use a little bit of this delicious chili oil made in the previous episode. This is really smoky, not very spicy. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check this out. Make this really easily at home. Two tablespoons chili oil, red onions, saute for one to two minutes. Garlic. sprouts, saute for about two minutes. Garlic chives, noodles, sauce, saute for three to four minutes and it's done. Plate the noodles. Sprinkle with some white sesame seeds and serve. You can now enjoy one of my childhood favorites with absolute confidence. I can't believe we're able to turn some simple humble ingredients into this beautiful dish of noodles. I can definitely picture myself eating a beautiful bowl of these noodles and just looking out onto Victoria Harbor in Hong Kong. Just at first glance, these noodles are incredibly visually stunning. It's so rustic and yet beautiful. It has those little peaks of green and yellow and purple just spotted throughout this dish. Those noodles are deliciously chewy, has a little bit of that elasticity because we only half cooked it and then we finished cooking it in the frying pan. And texture wise, those chewy noodles really contrast with the delicious crunchy freshness from the bean sprouts, the garlic chives, and that delicious red onion. You get that delicious flavor from that amazing sauce that we put together. The soy sauce gives it that saltiness, that umami, the plant-based oyster sauce adds that thickness to that texture as well as that incredible umami, that earthy flavor because it's made with shiitake mushrooms. The toasted sesame oil really lifts up and adds this beautiful aroma and really brings this noodle dish together. The cane sugar adds that little bit of sweetness which balances out that subtle bit of heat and that spiciness from the chili oil 
but the chili oil adds more of a smoky kind of flavor. And of course that dark soy sauce is what's responsible for coating those noodles with this beautiful caramel color. The garlic and those garlic chives add this kind of subtle hint of delicious garlicky flavor. And just sprinkled with those beautiful white sesame seeds, it really takes this humble dish cooked in your very own kitchen, a worthy of being served at a restaurant. It's dishes like this I can make every single week and never get bored. And by the way, we're not sponsored by any of the products in today's episode, and that's why we keep on plugging our own products like the Cook With Confidence cookbook and the Ramen cookbook, as well as our Young Men Cooking merch and our Plant-Based Sushi Masterclass. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to take a sneak peek inside the books, check out that masterclass, and of course, the Young Men Cooking merch. As always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.